What's going on YouTube, JabberTech here, and I just wanted to show you a fix to get YouTube working again on your Fire TV or Fire TV stick. And as I showed you in the last video, what had happened is Amazon beat Google to the punch. And when you click on the YouTube app from the Fire TV, it would redirect you and tell you that you had to download Silk or Firefox. And another problem with this update, not only are they forcing you to use Silk or Firefox, but they also disabled the cast feature. And I'll just show you on my Galaxy Note 8 is that it broke the cast feature. And if I show you here, you'll see that my Fire TV is not listed. And I'll show you in a second when I fix this hack that it will enable casting again. So let's go through the steps. It's very simple. What you want to do first is go into your settings option and disable automatic updates. So for that, you want to go to applications, app store. And then what you want to do from here is disable automatic updates. So after you disable automatic updates, you want to go to your device options and then enable your apps from unknown sources. Next thing you want to do is go to your applications list again, go to manage installed applications. And then from here, what you want to do is find your YouTube app and you want to force stop it. And then you just want to uninstall it as well. Once that's done, what you want to do is download downloader. So you can just ask Alexa for it. Downloader. And then once you get downloader, if you do not have it in your apps list already, make sure to download it. It is free. Once you open up the URL, what you want to do is type in the URL exactly as you see it. So that's HTTP colon slash slash bit bit dot ly slash old fire TV YouTube, then hit go. And you'll connect to this APK, click on download. And then you want to install it. And then once you open it, you have the old version of YouTube, which works correctly as it did before. Now you will get this notice again, saying that it will be disabled as of the 1st of 2018. But unless Google actually does something, this should work for the time being. So let me show you that again. Once you have this old version installed, when you click on YouTube app on your Fire TV, it'll open up YouTube right away. Casting is now enabled again. You can see that Jabber's Fire TV has been added to the list of casting devices. And that's a big deal for me. That's worth this five minute workaround to get it working again. Hopefully this video has helped you and been informative. Let me know in the comments below and continue using YouTube on your Fire TV. I'll talk to you guys next time.